this is Community Conversations. I'm Doris Ballard, the host of the program. This is a production of Concord Community TV or Concord TV. And uh, today we are at Market Days. You will be seeing this after Market Days is over because we're so busy taping that um, we need to get back to the office and edit. But nevertheless, you're going to get to hear about another event coming up in September that you have to put on, save the date. It is Weekend on the Water. It's happening Saturday and Sunday, September 24th and 25th at the Everett Arena. We're going to talk about all that at Riverfront Park in Concord. Again, September 24th, 25th. We'll talk about all the wonderful things that are happening. And here to do that is Gary Miller, who is my fellow Rotarian. Yes, yes. Oh, right there. Yes, right here, Pin. All right, so uh, we know, Gary, you and I, exactly how hard Rotarians work and raise money for uh, local organizations. And WOW is nothing different. I mean, this just helps um, add to the pool of, of money that you'd have with the golf tournament, with the theater events that we do every now and then, and uh, with the raffle that we're having in a bit. So the wonderful work that Rotary does. Give some examples of... In, off the top of your head of some of the, the organizations we help? Oh, Doris, there's uh, 40 or 50 organizations mm -hmm. that are routinely uh, receiving benefits from the Rotary Club, and it's amazing what the members in Rotary do to help those organizations around the community. Uh, folks like the Traditional Boys and Girls mm -hmm. Club and uh, the Salvation Army with their new building going up, we've given them some money for that. The Friendly the Kitchen. Friendly kitchen. I, you name the organization around town, and Rotary at some point has had a hand in it. The Child and Family Services with their transitional housing, we helped mm -hmm. them acquire the building a number of years ago, and we've been helping them with maintenance through the years on that as well. Uh, it, Rotary itself is an amazing organization, and the fact that it's so locally focused is phenomenal. Uh, just the attention that local organizations get, it, it's terrific. Uh, the folks. They're just ordinary people doing extraordinary things to help make this a better community. Uh, as you mentioned, there's, there's a host of things that we yes. do for fundraising, uh, not just WOW, but the golf tournament. We have our mm -hmm. raffle during the year, which happens to be uh, next week is the drawing. But the really cool thing about this weekend on the water event is that it's not just Rotary. It's a number of people around the community that have come together and recognized that a whole lot more hands together can make a community-wide event that makes it fun for folks to be there, helps exemplify the assets that we have in the area like the river that's been right. severely underutilized, and it gets a lot more folks to be here and be part of the city and see what the city and the community have to offer mm -hmm. far more than just raising money. The focus isn't just fundraising. Okay, yeah, it is. Fun without a D, too. That's right. Fundraising. Fundraising, <laughs> absolutely. But it really was put together to help folks see what can happen on a community level to get different organizations involved to make it a fun weekend for folks right. to come to the city and do different things that they can't normally do. All right, so it's right along the, the river uh, at Riverfront Park at Everett yeah. Arena. Yeah. And it's, again, for those who are just tuning in, this is Concord TV's Community Conversations. It is also a podcast. And Gary Miller is my guest today. He's a Rotarian, as I am. Full disclosure, right? And uh, we are all helping with the Weekend on the Water event. And uh, what exactly is happening? I want to save the duck boat, the ducks, not the duck boat, but the yeah. duck race. It's so exciting, but that's rot Rotary, that's Sunday, yeah. right? But we have the Dragon Boat Races. So what is a Dragon Boat Race? There's, there's a host of things, right. as you mentioned, and, and this is the fourth year that we've been doing this event. Mm -hmm. And we have this event, thanks to the city pulling this to our attention and being a part of this. Dragon Boats are basically a very wide, flat bottom, very long canoe. And you get 20 people loaded in there, paddling their butts off. <laughs> And you got one person beating a drum trying to get everybody to paddle faster to win the race. Mm -hmm. There's a dragon head and a dragon tail on the boat to dress it up and make it interesting. It's actually an organization from Montreal called 22 Dragon Boats. And who knew that it's the fastest growing team water sport in the country. And there are races all over the place. There's, dare we say, professional teams. Mm -hmm. uh, Boston holds an event uh, around the same time as the the head of the Charles Regatta. Uh, they have about 400 teams that participate ah. that in that event. 
there's a group that does a dragon boat event up on Lake Champlain up in Burlington, mm -hmm. uh, usually around mid-August, and they have about 200 teams. There's an event in Hartford that has 1,000 teams. Oh. New York City has 4,000 teams. So and it's, we're it's a happening event. And so we're just venturing into this but using the river, which is, I was on yep. one of those boats last year. Oh. It was a blast. We came in dead last, but that didn't but it matter. Was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So it's, and, it's yeah. good to have a team event like that. It can mm -hmm. be a team building or just a fun day. I know Ruth Coney's over at Satan Stitches right. got a team together, and they were all in costume and right. just having a great time okay. through the day. Uh, it, it's a fabulous event. It gets people out on the river to see what's going on. And that's happening. The, the Dragon Boat Races is happening Saturday, September 24th. Right. First thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. That'll run pretty much the bulk of the day. Mm -hmm. And as the morning goes on, we'll have food vendors on site. We'll also have a stage. We'll have live music through the day. Mm -hmm. A number of bands from the area. Uh, we're going to have a craft brew festival that'll run from 1 to 4. We'll have a beer garden and a wine garden from... Wine garden. You had uh, me at wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> right, we did. Right. <laughs> so there'll be a brew fest and food. Yep, A craft absolutely. village. There's going to be a craft village. Mm -hmm. We're looking for uh, shooting for 50 to 75 vendors. So if We're anyone still, wants to be a part of it, there's still absolutely. time. Absolutely, yep. Um, live music. Yep, we're going to have four different bands through the afternoon with some great music. Uh, most of them will be back from last year. That was a good selection of music, mm -hmm. nice, uh, every kind of music you can think of. It was, it was a great event last year, just going to be bigger and better this year. That's great. And games, you have games down here, so there'll be something for oh, people to get involved games. in. Oh, there's always games. Absolutely. Have the games. And we'll even have some surprises in the mm -hmm. beer garden, uh, some games that sounds for, like fun. All right. for the participants yeah. at that, the beer that garden my to attention. Right. activate. Uh, it's it's going to be a good event, and right. it will be all day Saturday, mm -hmm. and then on Sunday. Saturday the 24th. The, Sunday, da -da, ta -da, Sunday. The duck, the duck race. The duck race is in the afternoon, but yeah. in the morning, we actually have uh, Conca Crew, mm -hmm. who conducts their annual regatta. Their boathouse is right there next to the Everett Arena. And that's fun to watch. Oh, it's right. a blast. There's going to be, I think it's seven other high schools mm -hmm. that are joining uh, Conca Crew right. for Race on the River. And that'll run from 7 in the morning until about 12.30, mm -hmm. quarter of 1. And then we have the duck race at 1 o'clock. All right, talk about the duck race. What so, is involved with that? I mean, there's a lot of ducks. Oh, this is Rotary's uh, really big role in this. It is. That's, uh, that's the big money mm -hmm. maker for us for mm -hmm. the, the weekend. Uh, there's about 7,000 plastic ducks that will get dumped into the river. Yeah, try wrangling those things together. <laughs> it's, it's fun to watch the Rotarians in the boat trying to wrangle those ducks at yeah, the, when, they, when the race is over, right? And that one, what, what, how many prizes will there be? Uh, there's five prizes. Five prizes. And uh, basically the ducks get thrown into the mm -hmm. river. There's a system set up so that they don't hit the shoreline. And everybody gets a fair shot. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little corral that they all work into so we get the ducks in order. And the ducks are numbered. Every duck is numbered. Tickets are $5 mm -hmm. a piece mm -hmm. or $20 for a quack pack. A quack pack. Right. A quack pack. And that's a deal. That that's name deal. has survived right. where you get five, mm -hmm. count them, right. five, five ducks. Save money. So you're saving $5 right. for every quack pack. And the really cool part is the money that comes in from that goes to our community support committee, mm -hmm. which are the folks that, again, put money out to places like the Salvation Army, uh, Boy Scouts at times, mm -hmm. uh, Child and Family Services. I mean, it's the, the, the host of folks. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So, how can people buy them? A lot of nonprofits are selling them. So, how do they know how to buy the? Uh, obviously, we're, you're selling ducks here at Market Days, which we are. will be a little too late at this point when they see this. People see this. However, we've got till September 24th and 25th. They can buy them that that weekend. They can buy them right up till race mm -hmm. time on the 25th. And five uh, lone ducks. It's so fun to see those 7,000 ducks. Five lone ducks are going to break through the crowd. That's it. And they're going to win they're, they're, some money. Those right. plastic ducks are already out working at it, trying to get themselves ready right. and up for the event. All right. Uh, they so can, how do they buy them? They can hop online. Mm -hmm. They can get the tickets online. Uh, ask a Rotarian. There's uh, about 90 of us around town. Uh, just 
ask anybody who's a Rotarian. They'll be happy to get Check you some Conquer tickets. Check with Concord TV. We'll make sure we get you some tickets. Right? We have a number of nonprofits like mm -hmm. Concord right. TV that are selling the tickets. And how that works is we give them a, a portion of the ticket. We actually split the ticket yeah. with them. So you're not only helping Rotary and being able to mm -hmm. fund the activities that we do, but you also get some money over to Concord okay. TV to help them out. And that's why we partnered with so many nonprofits to sell the tickets. We actually have, I believe it's 16 different nonprofits that we've been working with up to now, mm -hmm. and we're always looking for more. As long as you're a nonprofit agency or organization, check with a Rotarian. We're happy to work with you to provide some tickets so you can sell within your organization. That's great. The goal, again, it, it isn't just Rotary, it's trying to create a bigger community and get more people involved in the okay. whole event. You can Google Weekend on the Water, or WOW as we call it, and I'm sure that you're going to find it on Facebook and you're going to find well, it on the website too. So ConcordWOW.org. ConcordWOW.org. Okay. Uh, all right. So Gary Miller, Rotarian on Sun. Rotary is really working hard on this event to benefit the community. This is all that we do as Rotarians. Uh, the duck race on Sunday is at 1. The uh, music DJ is on Sunday. Concord Crew Regatta is on that day. Again, food and games and the craft village. So something different on both days. Don't come for one day. Come, come for the whole days. weekend. Come for the whole weekend, right? Uh, it's right on the Riverfront Park at Everett Arena. And uh, with that, any last final words that we'd like to pitch here on the Thanks event? Thanks for having us here today, and uh, hopefully right. everybody gets to see this before our event in September. It's a fabulous mm -hmm. event to participate in. Uh, if nothing else, you get to come out and see okay. some of the friends that you have in the community, get to meet some new people, and invite right. folks from other towns right. and cities to come mm -hmm. visit with us and see what Concord has to offer for the weekend. That's great. Gary it's Miller. It's a great event. Thank you so much. You were a former um, president of the Rotary, Rotary last uh, last year. Yep, uh, yeah, last right. year. So a lot of hard work. Thank you for all you do. Absolutely. And, Glad uh, to do it, Doris. Right. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Community Conversations. I want to give a shout out to Marketplace New England. Thank you for allowing us to tape our show during Market Days right here in your beautiful location on 7 North Main Street in Concord. And uh, thank you again. Thanks, Doris. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Community Conversations, Concord TV, signing out. If you want some ducks, give us a call, 226-8872. We'll get you all set up. Thank you.